Next, we talk about dryness invading the lung. Cough with little sputum plus exterior syndrome. This is the lung dryness pattern or invasion of the lung by dryness. The dryness includes warm dryness and cool dryness. Warm dryness usually occurring in early autumn and cool dryness in late autumn. The dryness damages the body fluid in the lungs, which then fail to dominate descending, causing a cough with uh, thick, sticky sputum and a dry mouth, lips, nose, and throat. Concept, this is due to an exterior dryness pathogen in autumn, which invades the Wei Qi level and also injures fluids of the lung system. It is also called dryness invading the lung pattern. It is divided into two types, warm dryness and cool dryness patterns, according to whether the dryness pathogen has a propensity to warm or cool. Key symptoms, lung system diseases, along with the dryness and scanty fluids pattern. Clinical manifestations, dry cough with scanty sputum or sticky sputum that is difficult to expectorate, or even chest pain, sputum with blood, dry mouth, lips, nose, and pharynx, or epistaxis, nose bleeding, hemoptysis, dry stool and scanty urine, a thin dry tongue coating with little fluids, fever, slight aversion to wind cold, no sweating or scanty sweating, a floating and rapid or floating and tight pulse. This pattern is mainly caused by the dryness pathogen invading the lung and enduring lung fluids, leading to disharmony of Wei Qi, or by the wind heat pathogen turning into dryness and injuring fluids. Dryness in early autumn has a tendency to warm. As a result, most diseases during this time have a leaning towards warm dryness, while dryness in the late autumn has a tendency to be cool. And so most diseases then are leaning towards being cool dryness patterns. The lung chi is defensive. The invasion of dryness causes fever and an aversion to cold because the defensive chi is damaged. The cool dryness is associated with the tendency of cold, so its manifestation is similar to wind cold, while the warm dryness is associated with the tendency of heat, so its manifestation is similar to wind heat. The dryness transforms into fire that damages the vessels of the lungs, results in chest pain and hemoptysis. The dryness injuring the body fluid of the lungs results in a dry tongue coating. In most cases, the pulse is rapid when the dryness injures the lungs. So etiology, exposure to climatic wind and heat. Signs and symptoms, again, dry cough without phlegm or with scant sticky phlegm, not easily expectorated, aversion to cold, fever, dry throat, tickly throat, dry nose, dry lips, discomfort in the chest. Pulse is floating, tongue is red with yellow or white fur or coating. Treatment principle to clear dryness, moisten lung, suppress cough, transform phlegm. Acupuncture treatment, we use lung seven to release exterior and expel wind. Sanjiao five to expel wind and release exterior. Spleen six to supplement the body's yin. Bladder 13 to supplement lung chi. LI4 to release exterior, REN12 to descend rebellious chi, bladder 12 using cupping expels wind, kidney 6 to disinhibit the throat. We needle with drainage. For generalized sweating and aversion to cold, we drain bladder 12, gallbladder 20, and bladder 11. When it comes to overcoming the effects of dryness in TCM, incorporating certain foods into your diet can be incredibly beneficial. These natural remedies help replenish the chi and nourish the body to counteract the drying effects of external internal dryness. White fungus, also known as tremella, is a popular ingredient in TCM for moistening the lungs and relieving dryness and itchiness. It is rich in amino acids, which help moisturize the skin and improve hydration, giving it a radiant glow and elasticity. You can incorporate tremella into your diet by adding it to sweet soup, such as longan tremella soup or rock sugar pear with tremella soup, both of which are not only delicious, but also highly beneficial for combating dryness. 
Chinese yam is another fantastic ingredient for nourishing the lungs and adjusting metabolism. It is a perfect example of food and medicine coming from the same source. Chinese yam can be consumed raw or cooked in soups. It aids in nourishing the lungs, regulating metabolism, and the best part is it is low in starch, so you don't have to worry about gaining weight while enjoying its wonderful benefits. Lotus root is known for its ability to clear heat and nourish the spleen and stomach. In TCM, raw and cooked lotus roots have different properties. Raw lotus root can effectively cool the blood, disperse blood stasis, and clear internal heat, making it suitable for those experiencing dry mouth and excessive internal heat. Cooking lotus root strengthens the spleen and stomach, nourishes chi and blood, and stops diarrhea, making it a great option for those with weak digestion. Pears have long been uh, regarded as a beneficial fruit in TCM for moistening the lungs and stomach, as well as uh, clearing heat and transforming phlegm. Ancient texts recommend pears for treating symptoms like dry cough with little phlegm, dry throat, and hoarseness. Fresh pear juice with honey is excellent for moisturizing the throat, while a stewed pear dish with rock sugar and fritillaria can effectively alleviate coughs and promote throat health. And finally, we have the lily. Lilies have remarkable properties for moistening the lungs, stopping coughing, calming the heart, and soothing the spirit. These slightly sweet and bitter flavored flowers work wonders for maintaining respiratory health and treating coughs caused by dryness. For those who often suffer from insomnia and related symptoms, lilies can be highly effective in promoting restful sleep and calming the mind.